Hello students, I am Dr. Ranjit Kaur. I am an orthopedician trained in spine surgery. So today, I would like to introduce you regarding our upcoming app, Docami, which is basically an NPPS exam training or learning app. So that uh, by the end of this tag, I would like to give you some idea regarding what this app is all about. So the life of a medical student, it's uh, unlike uh, many other professional courses, our uh, course, the difference, what I find is that the, all the years are like interconnected, all the subjects are interconnected. So once you finish the first year, once you pass, once you clear the first year, the anatomy, the physiology and biochemistry, you just cannot leave those subjects at uh, one corner and go ahead with the second year. Because you have to carry over some knowledge from your first year to the second year, to the third year, to the final year or even after your exams once you start practicing as a doctor. So this is a continuous learning process. So you should have a basic thorough knowledge or a basic knowledge regarding all those subjects at least uh, at least about some of the basic stuff so you need systematic learning of course that is the ideal part where if you can allot uh, two to three hours of reading per day that's the most ideal thing any student will dream about but once you crack the pre-medical entrance test and reach or the gate doors of a medical college you will find some so many attractive things you will have the freedom of college life. You will come across all those extracurricular activities, the sports, the arts. Of course, some of you may fall into romance. You will have some girlfriends. You will have the parties. You have the politics. So lots of extracurricular activities and funny things may come up, which you will find it difficult. How to manage my studies in such a busy schedule? So it, it becomes totally difficult and to find even the 24 hours a day would be found insufficient and in between these exams coming and going it would be really tough for you guys so uh, before going into the preparation of an exam or even to think about uh, the seriousness of an exam you have to understand some of those interesting facts number one 90 percent of the questions being asked in the exam come from a 30 percent of the syllabus so you don't get worried regarding all those big big textbooks seeing all the, uh, the portions you have to cover before an exam, I have to read all this book, nothing like that. Because in the exam, only the 30% of the syllabus is asked frequently. So to pass an exam, you need not worry regarding too much about covering a big textbook or a lot, high lot of topics. Then the most reassuring fact is that most examiners would like to pass you out only because these exams are being conducted to make you pass even many of the examiners still. So don't really get frightened or scared uh, regarding the exams, thinking about all these things. Now, as I told, the systematic learning or uh, allotting or finding two to three hours for reading itself every day over the four and a half years of a medical student life is the most ideal thing for a basic or a thorough knowledge. There is no doubt regarding that. But I would uh, also say that this exam oriented studying or all those exam oriented uh, preparation is not that a bad thing to do because you have got six months uh, regular intervals exam like the internal assessments. So every six months uh, you are refreshing the topics you learned over the last uh, you know same semester of time. So uh, it's not that a bad thing that you learn strictly in view of an exam uh, uh, you know exam clearance purpose. And uh, this six months interval covers the syllabus at uh, regular intervals so that uh, the learning will also be thorough. So any preparatory phase can be divided into two stages or two phases. One is the preparation phase or before the exam what all things has to be done. And next is the most important about the presentation or at the time of exam how should I write an answer on my answer sheet. So these forms the two important phases before an exam comes. So the right one, the preparation or the before the exam part. The biggest hurdle is that even though you have all those you know uh, selection topics given by your you know lovely seniors, uh, you just read these topics only. You just need to know all these topics, or even the previous question papers can all help you. These topics are all over scattered in different different textbooks. You just cannot find all the answer in one book of uh, 300, 400 pages. It's all scattered here in one in uh, Harrison, the other one in Davidson, the other one is in the journal, the other will be in an internet. So you need to hunt all these topics and the rate limiting factor there is time. How to do this in a two weeks of study leave? How to do this in three or maybe 10 to 15 days of study leave? It's, uh, it's really a mammoth task and the biggest hurdle is topic hunting, where to search for all these things. So 
I would say this is the area or this is the point where we come into action. So how can Docomi help you? So we include an expertise of faculties who have been in the teaching field for maybe a decade or maybe more than a decade or so. And we have come across all these difficulties during our student life. We have seen or experienced many students going and coming in front of our eyes, facing the same troubles, so many ending up in a very, very difficult situation at the end. So in our experience and seeing all other students' experience, we have gathered information from many of those students, many of those brilliant students who have scored high marks or those who have struggled also, we have asked what were their difficulties. And finally, we would like to help you out through some, some, you know, some helpful resource. So that's why we, so that's the sole principle behind our new launching app, the Docomy. So this helps in effective utilization of the time because you need not worry regarding topic hunting. You have all the topics, all the important topics in the right pattern, in the short note, short note format, in the essay, essay format, how to remember the mnemonics, what answer should come first, what diagram should be there, what algorithm, what flowchart, it's all given as, as crisp, as crystal clear. So uh, hopefully we can help you out through this difficult scenario, this uh, difficult uh, time of exams being approached nearby. And we also provide you to some bonus MCQs as well, which might be helpful in your future PG entrance exams as well. Now we are going ahead. There is uh, something called a buzzword uh, with every topic. So. Uh, even uh, the, a buzzword can be called as the most important word connected to a topic. So whenever you hear a short note like a tennis elbow or like a carpal tunnel syndrome, automatically the phalanx test should come into your mind. So that is the buzzword for carpal tunnel syndrome. One is the median nerve, the other is the phalanx test. Like that for any, any topic, your learning should be patterned like that. Don't try to have a photographic memory. Like once you hear a topic, you, the, the first thing that comes to your mind should be uh, a, the textbook page, one page where one uh, patient is lying down, something like that. It should not be like that. So you have to plan yourself, even if you are in the habit of writing down a short note or you are uh, making a PowerPoint. The first point, if you are um, just for an example, I'm telling a carpal tunnel syndrome, carpal tunnel syndrome bracket should be median nerve so that once you hear carpal tunnel syndrome, the median nerve should be the next word that comes to your mind. So it can be either a symptom, it can be a sign, it can be some test, it can be some classifications. So uh, like an example, I would say uh, if I describe spondylolisthesis, I want you guys to know what is a Scottish Terrier. So that's why we try to incorporate uh, this dog's picture into your mind once you hear this topic. So Scottish Terrier, uh, if I am an examiner in, in an orthopedic uh, university board, I would definitely need my student to answer a Scottish Terrier sign or the Scottish Terrier X-rays in case if spondylolisthesis is being asked. So that's the importance of buzzword. Now, how to present it during an exam or over the answer? So this is the real test because this is where you have to perform. So the basic thing is that you have to think from the examiner's point of view or from his expectations. What does he expect from you? So any examiner. Uh, is being given a list of points for every short note before the evaluation starts and you will be awarded marks if you have this many points in your answer so it, if it's a two marks question the points will be like half mark half mark. If, you, if the student has written uh, these three points give him one and a half marks and if he has written it very legibly with the diagrams with uh, flowcharts give him full mark or we give him 80 percent of the marks so that is the uh, uh, funda behind the evaluation so you have to think from the examiner's expectations you have to have subheadings so that it will be it will be so easy for the examiner and you will you can convey your knowledge to the examiner quite easily and as i told the buzzwords the first word that should come to your mind that has to be highlighted the examiner need not have to struggle to read your short note like where whether he has written this point so it's not like it's the it's it's like the examiner really seeing the word right in front of him highlighted with a sketch pen or even underline or inverted commas and of course, diagrams or flowcharts when you describe any flow of events matter. So I'm giving you an example. If a short note being asked like a lateral epicondylitis for two marks question, and a student like me would have written it like this only. <clears throat> like this is otherwise known as tennis elbow. This is a condition characterized by pain and tenderness at the lateral epicondyle. And the extensor muscles of the forearm are involved. X-rays will be normal. The patient is... So this answer Although it has got every important point, it has covered everything, that 
this won't attract or even satisfy the examiner right from the word go or that initial impact will not be that great so what is the problem this is kind of in a schoolboy stuff where you have written everything but at the stage of your professional course you have to be more innovative and more you know more legible in and more pleasing to the examiner if possible so this is another way of writing the same short note i have drawn a diagram on the screen of an elbow it's not like a biggest drawing skills where you have to depict a human arm the contours everything nothing like that you just draw a, a kind of elbow you mark a point there mark it as lateral epicondyle so that is the point of tenderness in case of a lateral epicondyle so the tennis elbow and the, the and the student has rightly underlined with some sketch pen commonly the extensor carpi radialis brevis is affected and the clinical sign the cosens test so and you can see the treatment part it has been divided into two part the non operative and the operative non operative physio steroids and operative comp so this is so clear that the examiner need not even even uh, you know uh, find any time uh, difficulties in getting the, all those points being mentioned to give the marks and it's so legible and clear so the, i hope you understood what is the difference between writing a short note or having a knowledge and how to express that knowledge to get rewarded with more marks so you can consider docmi as a personal tutor for you at any time any place with you can save a lot of time and even money at present we are giving some exciting offers a 80% discount so if you find it useful if some of your friends have downloaded and even you find it useful and if you find it affordable please go ahead please go subscribe please visit please visit the docmi.com website and we hope and we would like to teach the way you like to learn thanks a lot and all the best for your upcoming exams dokumi